No, 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 he didn't. No, no. <laughs> you mean, <coughs> that actually hurt my throat like that. That didn't actually happen. There's, <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. I'm just cacawing around, man. Drops a fat pendulum and <laughs> refuses to elaborate any further. I've discovered something amidst my piles of tomes and leather-bound books. Within my apartment of richest mahogany, I found the deepest and darkest of lore, unknown to anyone else who treads this world. For the last 48 hours, it's been my secret to bear, but now you must share in my burden. Zinch magic hurts. Kairos does damage. I know, I know. I'll give you a moment to let it sink in. It's, it's a lot. The Fate Weaver is quite a magician, and not the Woody Harrelson in Now You See Me kind. He's the type of mage who blows up an army, cackles, then dumpsters a few more before breakfast. It's clear Creative Assembly have designed him to be strong, on par with the greatest mages in the series, so see what happens when he's dropping bombs at peak performance, and what happens when the idiot controlling him hasn't slept for 30 hours and forgets to give the winds a blowy before a big fight outside the Great Bastion. Before we do that, though, Let's take a look at a skill tree to prime you for the carnage that is about to come. Remember that Kairos can only see the past and the future, so his melee stats are somewhat abysmal as a result. It doesn't matter. He's uncatchable, insanely tanky, and he will rain down an ungodly freaking firestorm upon you. You're gonna have to call the United Nations and get a binding resolution to keep him from destroying you. We are talking Scorched Earth. He will massacre you. He will mess you up. So with his unique line, he has 2,000 barrier points on ultra base, an extra 40% when in battle, a 44% ward save ability, a net that lowers enemy melee attack by 40, which guarantees his one-shot pendulums. And yes, you heard that right. His pendulums one-shot Celestial Dragon Guard, elite armored infantry with a lot of health from 100% HP to 0% HP in a single cast. His entire army replenishes barrier faster, gets 20% extra barrier as well, and he can stack Mastery of the Elemental Winds to make his spells even stronger. That's a terrifying thought, because they're already really strong. Essentially, this adds another plus 15% to the intensity of a caster's spells every time you add another character or unit with that same attribute. So you start out at 110% intensity with Greater Arcane Conduit, then add 15 every time you get someone else with that trait in your army. It will scale most things that can be multiplied like stat effects, direct damage, healing, spell projectiles, vortex damage, all that kind of stuff, but it won't increase attributes like life leeching or smoke and mirrors, nor will it affect spell duration summons or the size of an AoE. So let's play a quick battle from early in my Zinch campaign to show off what he's capable of in an ideal scenario and then we'll fast forward a little later when things maybe weren't quite so perfect. Honestly, I feel a bit bad about the dirty things I'm about to do to the Kazdag tribe. They really don't deserve this. This will honestly be more Slaneshi than it will be Zinshi. It's gonna get real nasty. Now to everyone who's talking about Soul Grinders, I do want to clarify again, I feel like I made it clear in the video, that I don't think any of them are bad. You start with a Zinch Soul Grinder with Kairos, and it's a good unit. I mean, it may be the worst of the four. I could have been wrong on that assessment. I don't know. I feel like it's the worst of the four, having used all four of them quite a bit. But it's still really good. And you are correct that using that barrier to its fullest potential will get you a ton of value. Especially with Kairos, you get a ton of overshield for this thing. So I can throw him into the teeth of an enemy army, one like this anyway, and not worry about it too much. You just kill, yeah, 16 dudes with that volley. Not bad, not bad. Against Chaos Warriors too. So there's some penetration potential there with the projectile. But yeah, really how you want to use this thing with this army anyway is push that barrier to the limit. This range attack, eh, a bit underwhelming. But you can make AI do stuff like this. 
there were Chaos Warriors there. <laughs> yeah. So, Kairos Pendulum does a lot. I don't have much stacking on the Mastery of the Arcane Arts ability or whatever that is. Yet. Look how fast that barrier recharges for my Soul Grinder, by the way. So basically, anytime I see that blue bar get low, I'll pull him out. And then once it's recharged, go right back in. Get a couple volleys in there too. I'm leaving my burning chariot off fire at will for now. I want to make sure I get good volleys in when everything's blobbed up around a bird boy down below. We can start shooting. You do not have a lot of ammo on that burning chariot. I've, I've honestly not been impre super impressed with it so far. It's definitely not terrible, but just not a lot of ammunition. See, even the, the Zinch Soul Grinder agrees. No, I don't always have to net. Sometimes I can just line it up like that. Oh. Oh, Don Piano. Why I eyes, y'all? Give him some extra wins of magic, because we've got plenty more casting to do. The meandering tribes know not where they want to go. They've lost their wits. They've been driven insane by fear and frustration. Yeah, I mean, Barrier really is an incredible army ability. Like, it's actually pretty disgusting. If you use it to its fullest potential, it's literally infinite health. <laughs> like, you don't have to worry about healing it. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. By the way, Kairos can get regrowth. He can get a fragment of Gyran. But honestly, I, I've, I've been digging Pen- uh, not, well, yes, Pendulum, but Ulgu, Shadows. You get Occam's Mind Razor, which I'll never use, but Pendulum is super good. And I don't feel like I need to switch off that a whole lot. Let's try Zinch's Firestorm now, because they're getting real blobby. Oh yeah, oh, it's gonna be... Exquisite. To 404. And that should keep rising. We've still taken zero damage on this thing. Also remember, with that Zinch Soul Grinder video, or Soul Grinder video in general, I'm taking both multiplayer and campaign into consideration. So... Maybe hard to argue that this is the worst one from a campaign perspective, just because you can do this. But also talking about multiplayer. It's all connected, my dudes. It's all connected. All soul grinders are tier 5 monsters, and they're all scary. But Zinch is the only faction that starts with one, so... Something to be said for that. One in his gold stripes, baby. Okay, we've got one... <laughs> one lone Kazag Chaos Warrior has made its way towards my battle lines. So, we'll let Kairos pop his ward saves and all that. Get in that Oracle of Eternity. Maybe throw a couple more into this, the flank of this. Remember, Kairos has like, what? 4,000 barrier points or 3,500 when he's in battle because he gets that extra 40% so he ain't gonna take any damage not even with the chaos sword beating on him oh lord one more firestorm why is my army running into melee what are you guys doing we lost we lost it's over GG I give up. 
That Chaos Warrior is going to kill all of my horrors. It's over. I tried my best. My best was not good enough. Oh, no. It's a disaster. It's a catastrophe. I'm going to... I lost 11 blue horrors. Those are little friends that I'll never get back. It is for Remember when Michael Caine goes to Bruce Wayne's grave? Christ just breaks down and goes, I failed you. I failed you. Also, that's my favorite voice line in the game. I swear to God, these the, the blue horrors say Tits McGee when you click on them. Tits McGee! <laughs> we got all the Anchorman references going on right now. That was from Anchorman, wasn't it? Tits McGee! It shall be. One more arcane surge for my boy. Get the soul grinder in there. We should be able- yeah, we can easily get more pendulums. Like, we're not running out of magic anytime soon, I don't think. Like. Oh, I love those charges. It's so satisfying. Oh, are they just gonna walk right by me? Alright, I mean, this is over. I don't think they want to blob around me anymore. Yeah, this is this army losses. In a second here. We'll do one more Oracle of Eternity. We'll do a couple attacks on him. Ward save pops. There it is. Give me the firestorm, baby. Yeah, so Zinch Magic does a lot of damage. To be fair, this is not a good army from the Kazakh tribe. Pretty easy to abuse when they have zero range troops and zero balance, just all melee. But. 600 kills, 4,300 damage value. Yeah. We'll take it. I screwed up, boys. I screwed up bad. Look at those blue bars next to both our armies. So when you're playing a Zinch, you can control how much wins are in an area, and you can pretty much do it instantly. It's not a super interactive mechanic, but I'm getting close to the Great Bastion now. Fighting Miao Ying's Northern Provinces faction. And I was in ambush stance outside. Ready to get all sneaky sneaky. And they saw me. But that's fine. Like, the army is out of the Bastion now. So I don't have to worry about them garrisoning it. I can fight on the open plane. It's great. The issue is that I forgot to increase the Winds of Magic in this province. I have Tempestuous in the province right next to it. But not this one. Uh, so... I have a tiny Winds of Magic pool? Which is not really ideal with Zinch. So I get that great standard of sundering on my iridescent horror. And I need to prepare to fight a battle against a lot of Cathayans with not very much magic. Feels bad. Now, this is where the Zinch Soul Grinder is not as impressive. The issue against a faction like Cathay is they have a bunch of peasant archers, jade warrior crossbowmen, celestial dragon guard, cannons, artillery, crane guns, what have you. Those will drop the barrier shield quickly and from far away. So I can't get as much out of that barrier shield because obviously ranged troops are way better at focused firing through HP than melee troops are at surrounding something. They also do stuff like that. So the, the AI is actually really good at using Missile Mirror. I just took a massive shot on my barrier from Missile Mirror. Reflected all that damage back in him. Didn't take any damage himself, but the barrier shield's gone for right now. We get aggressive with Kairos. See if the AI does something dumb like they are right now. They like to get weirdly blobby with their ranged troops occasionally. Let's see if we can punish that. Now the other thing I gotta worry about here is Storm of Shadows from Lord of Yin. 45% slow, it lasts for 30 seconds, only costs 4 wins of magic. AI spams it, and they're good at putting it on your high value stuff. So Kairos with the Soul Grinder. All those... Cow are getting aggressive, let's net that in place and focus fire it down. 
So even with a ton of barrier hit points, crane guns and crossbows will do some damage to the Fate Weaver here. I think. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any avoiding that. But that barrier passive is going to do some serious work, even for the blue horrors and pink horrors. Like, they have large HP pools. So yeah, they, they, they cut through Kairos' large shield quite quickly with all that focus fire. And they're very spread out too, so I can't get as good pendulums. But that was, I mean, I basically killed two archers there, so I'll take that. Yeah, I took a little bit more damage there on Kairos than I would like, but... It's mostly the crane guns. Like, they, they will snipe through that so fast. So even though battle AI can still be kind of meh in plenty of situations, that Storm of Shadows combo into crane gun sniping your lord, like, that's smart. That's, that's about as good as it gets from the AI. But then they do other weird stuff like flip their entire formation, get super blobby so you can just vortex it into oblivion. I've got to be more selective with my spell selection here, too. I'm not even sure, honestly, that that pendulum was worth it. It probably was to kill the two archers. Yeah, that's probably worth it. So, I want to keep in that formation. The thing I'm worried about is that there's a fire rain rocket coming. And crane guns coming, too. So, I you definitely need to pull. Yeah, the burning chariot shield... Lose that overshield super fast. So I want to pull back and get them more spread out over this area. Oh man, I, w I wish Kairos was over there. Look at that. They're doing weird stuff. Yeah, I'm going to spread out because I think if that fire rain rocket gets in range of me, I'm going to be really sad. I may regret this later just because controlling my... Like getting a good formation here will now be harder. But if you go box formation against Hellstorm rocket batteries or firing rockets, you'll be you'll be pretty sad. So I think I think I need to spread out a little bit more. The biggest issue that this army has at the moment is that I don't have Doom Knights or Chaos Knights to run down stuff. So at the earliest available opportunity. I'm gonna go back, because I'm about to get my capital to tier 5. Go back and get Doom Knights. Because I could not worry about the firing rocket at all, or the crane guns at all, if I had some Doom Knights to just harry the rear four of them. And this build would be very beneficial. I could drop some blue horrors for sure. Tits McGee! Yeah, I just don't have any mo mobility right now, is the biggest issue. Besides Kairos, but Kairos, is, he can't just like land in melee and kill stuff. Yeah, like I, I definitely... <laughs> I'm definitely screwing up my formation a little bit here. Yeah, I'm gonna pull back a little bit further. And I would love to send Kairos over there, but they're just annoying peasant archers that will drop my overshield in the back, and the crane guns still are living too, so. We're gonna push up in a second here and take them to the choke point. Yeah, I might be able to get some good casts in. Yes. Will the winds of magic pool hold up though? Not looking so hot. But yeah, we could definitely line up a firestorm. This is an amazing vortex, by the way. Like, the, the triple... Like, each one of those vortices that come out does comparable amounts of damage to just, like, like a normal vortex. And you have three of them. So, huge area coverage. Huge potential damage output. Not crazy impressive cast right there. Oh, uh, no, it's, it's doing all right. That took at least two units to half HP. It might do more. Three. Yeah, no, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Wasn't game changing, but uh, unfortunately, yeah. There we go. There's a slope. <laughs> There's Storm of Shadows. 
Kairos is moving like a geriatric grandma. Get rid of those Cav. And get out of there before you lose the overshield, bro. So a lot of my blue horrors are about to run out of ammo. They are they kind of double as like melee infantry too. Like they're more than precursors. They are ranged first and foremost. But they run out of ammo real quick. They do not have a lot there. So I'm gonna have my iridescent horror and the burning chariot go around the cliff and come on the backside to deal with the artillery and the crane guns. Zinch Soul Grinder getting slowed as well. It's just a very spammable spell that the AI uses pretty well. So the blue horrors that are in front that have ammo will try to retreat, but the rest that are out, they're going to start going into melee. Just completely out tanking the Jade Lancer charges, which is fun. Yeah, I... I should have kept them in my formation, like, I've definitely kind of lost- Eh, we're fine. We're, we're gonna have a very nice firing arc on that Terracotta Sentinel momentarily. What is the art- What? I thought the artillery was up here. Yo. Okay, well. I guess the firing rocket won't be a problem this game. Yeah, so those blue horrors are out of ammunition, but they're going to be a nice tar pit for the pink horrors that are in the back. Get all that focus firing them down. They don't have amazing AP split, but they'll, they'll get through armor still. Especially if you've got that much focus firing. Damage through volume is how Zinch does it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That might be my last cast of the game, but I'm gonna make it worth it. One day. Like, dude, that spell. I, I just don't see a need to, to use any of the other shards. Olgu's where it's at, baby. We went there. We did indeed go there, Kairos. I'm gonna get out because my soul grinder lost its barrier shield again. And I was getting beaten on by a long ma long ma dick. You fool! You've fallen victim to one of the classic blunders. Wheeling your artillery way too far up and not using it. Yeah, that's not a good look for the AI. <laughs> that's not a good look. Like I said in some of the other videos, like. It's not been terrible, but it's been it's it's been hit or miss. Like the AI is okay in some battles, and sometimes they just do stupid shit. Welcome to Total War, <laughs> right? Uh, I took yeah, I took more damage here with Kairos. Never left. I'm gonna pop that warden save and get him be on the cliff. Closing the vice though. This is pretty much over. No more casting though. The winds of change. I could have played this one better, but honestly, the result is about as good as one should expect. To. No firing rocket, please. About as good as one would expect, except for maybe Kairos taking a little bit too much damage. But, like I said, AI is good at shooting him, especially with those crane guns. Everything else is healthy. Didn't lose a single unit. Probably only lost, what, 100, 150 models? On blue horrors, mostly. They're tanky, man. Zinch is tanky. By the way, Zinch, really strong. In campaign and multiplayer, really strong. Really strong. Guess what? That barrier thing we've been talking about, it's a big part of it. Just makes all their low tier fodder hard to kill which you don't expect to, you don't expect horrors will be tanky they're they cost 400 and they have ranged fight they're, they're like archers right no they're they're legitimately tough to kill 
So that is Zinch. Uh, his magic is quite powerful. Kairos is a very strong lord and has some really nice buffs for his armies. And he can one-shot elite infantry from 100 HP or 100% HP to 0% HP in a single cast. It's it's hard to bring elite infantry against Zinch. It's hard to bring elite anything against Zinch. <laughs> huh. Pendulum. Pretty good spell. See you in the next one.